that's a different question, right? It is a different question. And which one you think you said? And I said, cause you, you asked didn't me, say where you from, dog. Let me do two dates. We could do one in Jersey by her, and then we could do one in New York by me. And I remember our, our first date. And I was like, oh, I could tell this was a, a young Christian woman. Uh, you are, you so <laughs> by extra. The way, by the way she was dressed. I'll stink outside the box. Well. Stink outside <laughs> the box. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Kershaw's world. world. Another exciting time with us, Kim Marcus. My lovely wife Tiffany. We're gonna talk about uh, how we met, how we began dating back, way back, back in the time. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember how we first met? I do, very distinctly. You remember specifically what happened? Yes, would you like me to share? Yeah, go ahead, because <laughs> <laughs> the events unfolded, but we have a little bit of different point of, differences. point of views of what happened. <laughs> sure, sure. So, how we met background is that my girlfriends wanted to do like you know get together yep. and um, I think it was my Neo Tiffany she l told us about this event called First Saturday First Saturday at correct. Brooklyn Museum so correct. it was Michelle myself Jasmine and some other people that we all decided to get together to go yep. and just so that you guys know what Brooklyn Mu First Saturday at the Brooklyn Museum are, is like they open up the entire museum. There's lots of like vendors and like uh, food trucks, a bands, a lot of different turn art exhibits, up. and it's just a like free event. Turn up spot. Yeah, it's really <laughs> fun. It would like and it goes through like the summer and fall. Oh, yeah, uh, beginning of fall, I think. At so least. yeah, so we went. It was awesome. So at first. Um, we were, when we got there, my girlfriend, Michelle, she was like, hey, um, my boyfriend's here. I wanna go and talk to him for a second. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay. So we all went um, to go find her boyfriend yeah. and she was like, he's with some friends. So they go off to the side to talk and I'm standing there by myself and in walks the lovely, <laughs> handsome. Walks. Who's outside? <laughs> Who <was> outside? <laughs> Who's outside? Kim Marcus. And so he comes up to me and he's like, I don't remember the exact word, but I think it was just like, hey, how you doing or something like that. And I was just like, get him, that's my line. So he was, then we proceeded to talk and you asked me where I was from. And I was like, Jersey. This is where our little, you know, recollections differ. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. We begin you. So then, um, I you go Jersey. Oh, like I was like, where are you from? And he goes New York. Number one, anyone from New York uh, never says I'm from New York. New York is a state. There's a bunch of different boroughs, like cities mm. within the city. So then I'm like, where are you really from? And then, that's what you had shared. Happened, yeah. You had re recently moved to Hell's Kitchen in Manhattan. Manhattan. And, um, but you were originally from you Jersey. You make it there, you can make it anywhere. The concrete <laughs> jungle where dreams are made of. <laughs> Facts. So, um, then you had said that you were also from Jersey. Mm -hmm. So we proceeded to talk and we found out that we have more like mutual friends. We also had found out that we had a lot of mutual things in common. I'm trying to think, we have more mutual friends, right? Well, this is the thing. But a couple you people. You actually are Michelle's now husband, Wayne's friend. Yeah, I don't want so, yeah, one person in common, yeah. But it was just like, <laughs> it wasn't like you had walked up, I guess, necessarily oh, out of the blue, blue, yeah. blue Cause okay. it was just like, we were standing off to the side. So then, um, after that, you proceeded to ask me on not one, but two dates. Day. Stink outside the box. Well. Stink outside <laughs> the box. Like, so sweet. <laughs> yep. So then, um, we actually ended up exchanging numbers, and yeah, that's how we met. And you call it quits. Went back home, right? <laughs> yeah, so then after the event was like, we were getting ready to head back home to Jersey, mm. and I think you were gonna head out to another spot. You had asked if we were going to that spot, and I was like, no, we're just gonna. The night back. not over until it's morning. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go to sleep. Okay. You probably had church the next morning. I did actually. I did. So um, then I um, when I 
by the time I got home, you had texted me before I had gotten home, like just to make sure I had made it in safely. Such a gentleman. Hit him with a tag of woods. <laughs> yes. So, um, <laughs> and then we proceeded after that. We just kept talking, and Facts. the rest is history. Yeah, that's so, not bad. Usually she tells the story a little bit, I mean, a little grainier than. <laughs> I would like, Honestly. but to set the stage from my point of view, uh, I moved to New York, New York, I moved to New York uh, like April 1st that year. So it was 2012, set the stage, 2012, like eight years ago now, it was 2020. Um, and I was excited about moving to New York. I put a lot of resources and time into moving to New York. So yes, I was very excited, especially to move to Hell's Kitchen, which is a hot spot for like, you know, being in the middle of everything. I could go to Harlem, I could go to Brooklyn and everything. But that weekend in particular, I had came back home to Jersey because that was July 7th, 2012. Mm -hmm. So it was my sister's birthday. So my plan was to hang out with her that day. So I came back the night before, like July 6th, which was a Friday. And then I stayed over, but my sister Yolanda, something happened. She like went out the door. She didn't, she was doing her own thing, whatever. So I was like, cool, hit the homies up. I was like, yo, what y'all doing? They're like, go ahead, first out of it. So I was like, boom, we in there. I'm be the first train out there to uh, New York. So I went to, took the train back to New York probably early, like a noon o'clock joint or 11 o'clock joint. And then went back to my place, which is like a couple blocks, like one train stop and like a couple blocks of walking. And then I uh, headed out to Brooklyn. My boys moved out there recently as well. And then got there, you know, started drinking a little bit. We just chatted up. Then we made it to first Saturdays finally. We always take mad long to get to <laughs> every spot till this day, like even if we hang out. Then my boy Wayne, he said my girl's coming with some friends or whatever. And we was like, cool, cool. Of course we're not gonna say like, oh nah, we ain't bringing some extra girls. So we were just chilling. Uh, all I remember is my boy Wayne, Michelle, they linked up and they went away. <laughs> Whatever, and then uh, there was a young lady there that was just sitting by herself, so I began to talk to her, and we were chatting it up for a little bit, and I didn't know if he was feeling me or not, but I knew like something was on the spectrum when she was like, oh, where do you work at? And I was like, nah, we got this this company. She's like, oh, my mom works there. I was like, oh, I got him. Like, you know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like now you like, you know what I mean? Me and mom on the same page. But, um, so I think the whole question is about New York. Like, I was excited about move, moving to New York. I don't know if she said, are you from New York? Or where do you live at? That's a, a different question, right? It is a different question. And which one you think you said? And I said, cause you, you asked me. You didn't say where you from, though. <laughs> yeah, because you I said, like, where you, you said, where, where are you from? You asked me where I'm from. Uh, and I said, Jersey. And you uh, was like, uh, like, Jer yeah, I was like, I didn't say that. Push, push pause here. What? I, didn't say like, that. I love my jersey. I love everything in Jersey. I live in Jersey. Obviously not. <laughs> I got but, no problem with Jersey, but I was excited to move to New York. So yeah. if you had asked me like, where do I live at? I would have told you New York, like Manhattan, Hell's Kitchen. Boom. You said, I think when the question arose, not I think, I know, you were like, New York. And I'm like, dead giveaway. Both of my parents you are probably like, where you live at? New I was like, York. New York. They're from, they're New Yorkers uh -huh. and from respective, their respective <laughs> areas. So I knew that anyone, I have family. I never deny living, being from Brooklyn, Jersey so and moving like, to New York now. I know when you say you're from New York, it's like, you were a transplant. So what ended up happening, don't disagree or agree. <laughs> So, to be transparent, I was like, all right, well, she said she had worked in Jersey City at the time, and I had worked in Lower Manhattan, and everybody knows that's a quick path ride, or you can take the ferry if you, you bougie or whatever, over to Jersey City. So what ended up happening, I was like, hmm, how do I get this girl to come out with a date? Because I love New York, so I'll show you New York. I know a couple spots out here that probably closed down since. But uh, I was like, all right, let me do two dates. We can do one in Jersey by her, and then we can do one in New York by me, right? And then I was like, looked at her, she was like, okay. I was like, all right, let's do that. Lock okay, it. is that how Lock I it in. It? Yeah. I was like, okay. 
<laughs> she was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and that's how it happened. And I remember you walking up and then we just planned our first date out in uh, Jersey City, right? Yeah, yeah. Which I was extremely late for, but for good reasons. I'm a working man. <laughs> yeah, that was, I was like, okay, he must have a good work ethic and yeah. he's responsible. So I'll give you this pass mm. for being late. Right. But, and you were transparent, you, you communicated. Yeah, I was telling you I was being, Within a, yeah. enough notice, so yeah. I just continued to work late myself, so. Right, right, and I remember our, our first date, I was like, oh, I could tell this was a, a young Christian woman. Uh, <laughs> you are, you're so by extra. The way, by the way she was dressed, I was like, okay. <laughs> Gee, no, y'all, this is, okay. Her skirt was like this long. No, it was <laughs> <laughs> That's not I never, true. I never seen that dress after that. I was Boy, like, I rotate my clothes. I probably don't that even know. That joint rotated yeah, right the day after I got it. No, it was a cute, it was very cute, and it was from H&M, I think. It yeah. was like it a high a switch out for what low. I was used to, yeah. A high, low, uh, what was you used to? Something not that long a dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> but it was a high, low. That was the style. Okay, maybe. I'll just like, and it wasn't long. long. Yeah. It was short. It was, I obviously wore it to work, so it was like, in the front, it was like above my knee, just mm, above my knee, mm. and in the back, it went. And I had on a cardigan, it was blue, it was cute. It was I don't even think it was like a long date. It was like maybe an hour or two or something like that. Well, it was cause you were late. Yeah, I was late, it was closed. So I think it was probably closing down. It was cut shorter than probably yeah. that. Yeah. But we had fun. We went to um, this like restaurant and Maybe we should we, go back there one day if they're open. If they're open, I feel like they may have changed. Maybe. Like, well, but we should. That was though. a smooth spot though. Yeah, it was really cute. It overlooked like uh, the skyline. The water, yeah. The water, so it was really pretty. And um, we had like really chill. We just played like 21 questions, right. which I love to play. She, and she revealed some intimate details we won't get into. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we just like vibed and had good conversation. Yep. And it, I was like, okay, we could go like, this is someone who I see a lot of potential in, and that we had good chemistry even off the first uh, date. That so. is that is very true. <laughs> and the second day you didn't like too much because we went to an Italian restaurant called Don Giovanni's. I thought it would be good. First of all, the guy I, I always take restaurant recommendations for whoever. Like, I mean, some people like. They have bad credit with me now, so like I don't take their <laughs> advice anymore. We don't need no names. <laughs> we don't need no names, but <laughs> like if you got a good, if I know you like food, like I like food, I'll, I'm taking those recommendations and run with it. So I had a whole list of restaurants I wanted to try. And one of them was an Italian restaurant called John Giovanni. So I feel like you should always have a good Italian spot, right? Can I jump in real quick? Go ahead. You said I didn't like the date. No, I love the date. I didn't prefer yeah, that food. restaurant. And Tiffany don't like food, which I probably discovered. You just be looking around your food like. <laughs> like it a, was just a like inspector or <laughs> it wasn't that it was terrible it wasn't good it just wasn't good yeah, yeah it was like Fair average enough. like you know yeah. but it was like i got uh, like chicken alfredo it was all right it wasn't yeah. great but i mean that was but then after that we went we went to dinner first mm. and then well you picked me up from the train station yeah you wasn't used to new york at the time no, no and i've like, she was like, New York is not clean by Penn Station. So Tiffany was just uh, like dodging people. Like, <laughs> some like, of the people at me at Penn Station, y'all know what I'm talking about. And she was not dodging potholes. She was dodging garbage. Like, she didn't want to be this close to garbage. I was like, yo. I was so prissy. Like, yeah, definitely on the first. But over the years, I lived there for six years. So over the years, she kind of gradually got used to it. Like, yeah. she could walk down the street without, like, jumping around and being scared. <laughs> I remember, because you were just like, <laughs> <laughs> Moving around like you Missy probably Elliot. Think I was so weird. Yeah, I probably yeah. didn't think you. Makes <laughs> <laughs> that with the skirt for the first day. I'm like, this is an interesting girl. Like you always talk about this outfit. I wish I need. I need to find a picture and like put it in this video. If we find a picture, we're gonna put it up. <laughs> yeah. It's cute. It was very cute. But I was like, yeah, I knew like it will progress from there because I mean, we, we dated for a while after that. I think. Between those days, yeah, I went on a trip or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so but I have, we kept in contact. Yeah, and you kept like, which was nice. Like you kept just like, I was on my trip with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. and um, we went this is in like Chi Town. Right? Yeah, we went for a taste of Chicago. So yeah. shout out Kira and Tavy. We had like, and Risha and Nicole. We had such a good time. Gang, gang. And um, 
then after that, while we, while I was in Chicago, you were planning for the next time we would see each other. Yeah, I'm a planner. Yeah, <laughs> so we did, we had like fun, like dating, that's why I, I always tell everybody, dating should be fun. And we had like such a good time, just like getting to know each other mm -hmm. and like seeing what we were mutually interested in. And thankfully we both love food and love like moderate to low, adventure level yeah. so it we was like, like kicking back we go on a trip or something we like kicking back and relaxing yeah drinking mojitos margaritas sitting Just by the pool up. i don't need to go hiking i don't need to go like deep sea diving like <laughs> nothing i'm good like yeah. i'll forfeit all those photos just to chill out man that's what i miss now yeah and we did like cultural experiences and stuff so i think one of the um our dates that i really was a standout date was we were talking mm. and in our conversations i had said um i really i never had walked across the brooklyn bridge and that's something i really wanted to do and lo and behold you listened which was so uh, yeah. nice still, that still to today. important in partnership is to listen to your partner and you plan a date for us to walk across the you brooklyn bridge and so that was so sweet that was such a fun date yeah and wow. we went we discovered our favorite mexican place yeah, well, that was another same guy that recommended our second date, recommended the third restaurant or third date restaurant that we had, which is at uh, Ariba Ariba. Ariba Ariba. That, yeah. That's still my favorite restaurant right now. And every time we go to New York, we make sure to hit Ariba Ariba, yeah. which is up there in Hell's Kitchen, like 50th and 9th or 51st and 9th or something like that. Yeah. But love that. Chimichangas on point. Love it. But yeah, you, we walked across Brooklyn Bridge. That was a cool third date. Still to today, still planning dates out. Never yeah. stop dating your wife, your girl, your fiance, your lady, whatever that is. Your husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always, I just like planning fun things to do. I don't like just sitting around relaxing, I think. <laughs> we have Some relaxing is good, yeah. Right. Other times you need to, I need to experience life and what it holds. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So let me ask you, I have a question. Can I ask? Go ahead. <laughs> what, what, what would you say would be your favorite trip that we took together? Favorite trip? I feel like I just, sometimes I'm back and forth depending on what the trip is, but I had to say uh, our Paris Bar Barcelona trip. Okay. Because I think uh, Disney was cool, liked it, nostalgia for me because I went there growing up a lot. Uh, I think that was the first one we kind of planned out together and we hit spots we never hit before. So Paris, Barcelona, we hit Europe. Had my passport, but never really went anywhere. Um, so we end up going to Paris, I think for four or five days. And then we went to Barcelona for four days. And I think um, we just learned about each other's habits on vacations and stuff like that. But we mix, we understood each other as far as like, uh, we like cultural stuff and then we like chilling. So that's what we do on every vacation and now. Eating. And eating a lot, yeah. <laughs> I ate a lot, yeah. So that was my favorite trip. We took uh, the bullet train from Paris to Barcelona, which is dope. Shout out that crazy girl that was I was there. just thinking about that, that was so. I remember being so tired. I was like, all right, I'm gonna get some sleep on this bullet train. It's like a like few hours, I think it was like four or six hours, something like oh that. Oh my gosh. And this girl, she got on, like you gotta put your bags by the door, right? That's where the bags are. There's no space for it like in the seats. So all she kept doing was looking like this, like looking back at her. Very suspicious. She very thought. suspicious. Very like, suspicious. And I'm like, what's in there, bricks? Like, I don't understand. Like, it was like, who are you, ghosts and Tommy? You guys. <laughs> like, what do you call those bags? They're like, like the military size bag. They were like very suspicious. Like huge. So I, and she was sitting across from. Like, we see her crazy self walk in, and she like sat right next to us or very close to us, but she just kept. And I was like, oh brother, I can't sleep because wish something pop off. Yeah. There ain't no security. I think something just happened on oh, a bullet, bullet yes. train, one of those trains. That was when they had the issue with the um, like bombing in Paris. Yeah, yeah, with yeah, the train. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that was scary. Too. I was on high alert, but mad tired. But so we stayed awake the, the whole time. I maybe fell asleep maybe five yeah. minutes or something like that. But and remember we met that um, old uh, like French couple, the, the elderly couple. They oh, were set, like, like super, they were French French from the country. Yeah, but they were so sweet. Oh yeah, they were nice. Was like, they were just talking to us, yeah. I like so that. Sweet. I love what was your favorite vacation? Oh, when I... Favorite trip? 
I'm gonna say if it was our most recent, I loved Aruba. That kind of is like a trick question because I love. It was our honeymoon as well, yeah, no, but good. it was just fantastic. Like you couldn't ask for better like weather. Yeah, go check out those vlogs. We have two parts. Yeah, part one and part two. We and I think it was just like so nice because the beaches are beautiful mm -hmm. and we have traveled to other places before and I feel like the beaches like the water is just like crystal clear yep. and it's placid so for me who is a non-swimmer or a novice swimmer it was perfect because I could just like wade in the water and not have to worry about yeah. all I had to worry about was like sea life because they were like fish and bad, stuff though. like that it wasn't but that bad, yeah. And the food was very good. Yeah, um, Aruba's on point. If you're looking for a country, like you don't pay a little bit more than those other Caribbean countries. Yeah. It's because it's a Dutch Caribbean and it's underneath the hurricane belt. But if you want to go somewhere and make sure that you have great weather all year round, yeah. no matter what the time, and great food, great, you know what I mean? There's no violence there. I think there was like one crime. So super safe. In the super last safe. 30 years or something like that. And like the whole business is tourism, so like you go down there and you really feel it. And people are just super nice to you. Mm -hmm. And then like we stayed at uh, the, the Marriott. Marriott. We yeah. got a dope room like overlooking the, the beach and the water. And then we plan the planning activities like scuba dive. We did the ATVs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean I gotta go check those vlogs out, but we had so much a fun. Great time. And we also relaxed. That's what I like to do it too by the pool, by the beach. Yeah, and we were just it was cool, just man. nice. It was like really nice and chill, and we had a mix of adventure, and we yeah. also had our mix of like just chilling. And it was just like we both loved the water, we loved the beach, yeah. so it was just like a really nice trip. And then I think I'm gonna tie, do a tie, <laughs> but not a tie, but I said a runner up would may have been Australia, just because it was so unique from anything yeah. else I'm we had we done. That. Well, Cuba was very unique too. Oh. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we had some dope vacations yeah. though. A lot of people ain't going to Cuba no more. So that, I'm glad we had. I know that. Shout out to Darius. Yeah, shout right out there. Darius. But thank you guys for joining us. This is how we met the Kershaw. So Woo. hope you enjoy that. And if you're planning a date out with somebody you first met, maybe you should plan two out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's four. <laughs> 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 But well, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to this video and this channel if you enjoyed yourself. Thank you for joining us. We gotta go get some lunch. So, peace out. <laughs>